Hey guys, it's the Solo Clothing, and today inside of this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over UV Forge, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether you should get him or not out of the era shop. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so if you guys didn't know, UV Forge is a brand new multiversal mythic, and it is a very pay to win one. You can only get it by spending money. So I'm going to basically just be telling you guys whether or not it is worth your money. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so UV Forge is an attacker, and its traits are control immunity, tough, and evasion, which are actually some amazing amazing traits those are all just really good and then its relics are sword and armor which are both pretty good as well and then if we've gone down to its pros and cons it has access to evasion removal and trample which are pretty good it also has evasion removal before damage. It also has decent self-supporting in my turn and kernel defense. It has great power and trait and good relics. And then its cons are underwhelming life and speed, which definitely can be a problem. It has no tortures, which is really bad, kinda. And then it has trample is useless due to her having no negative effects, which is kind of a problem. So you would have to have another monster with negative effects in order for Trample to work. Which is really annoying since she has Trample herself but can't really use it herself. And then also Random Hater is a gamble since you could get something really bad. And then my turn is Anticipation Bait which is kind of a problem. And damage from toxins will devour her as a magic monster. Which is kind of a problem as well. So now let's go on down to the move set. Alright, so she has a self-damage boost with an extra turn, which is pretty great. She also has a self-evasion with double damage and random hater, which is pretty good. And it can be really good if you get a good hater. And then she also has a remove evasion with 65 dark damage. And then an AoE 40 dark damage with trample. So yeah, that is an AoE trample too, which is kind of funny because she can't even use the trample unless you have another monster. So yeah, I guess that's still pretty good. She does have a decent moveset, but she does kind of rely on other monsters, which is kind of really annoying for a $40 monster. But yeah, she is still at least decent, I guess. There are just so many other monsters that you could use instead of her. And yeah, that is kind of a problem for a monster that costs real money. So honestly, I would stay away from UV Forge. I would not buy UV Forge. I definitely would not get her and rank her up to max. She just isn't very good. And there are so many other monsters that just do what she does, but better. And she has a lot of counters to her. So yeah, definitely don't worry about getting UV Forge. She does cost money, not worth it at all. And yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys think she is worth it though, or if you feel any differently about her. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.